Hey, I'm back, it's Mikey, and I'm gonna talk to you today about Camp Hollywood. It started in 1998, and it's in its 13th year now. And the first year was great because you got all the old timers together in one place. The living old timers, of course, because if, the, if they got the dead ones, that would be really awkward. I'm sure they wouldn't like it. Anyways, so they brought all the uh, surviving LA old timers into one place, and they created a big panel, and it was the big thing about of the weekend, Ed. And they uh, asked them a bunch of questions and asked them a bunch of stories and they they um, just shared their knowledge with everybody and everybody loved it. And uh, it was one of the first events where it, it was solely about the tradition of Los Angeles style Lindy Hop or as they called it Hollywood style Lindy Hop as well. This is Nick Peterson. He likes to wear eye makeup. Everybody had a great time, I think, this year. Again, another fabulous job by Hillary Alexander. She's an event promoter, organizer, extraordinaire, amazing dresser. <laughs> I've gone to every single one of them, I'm pretty sure. I missed the first one because I didn't think I was good enough back when I was, I was 13 when the first one happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yes, I was a Hollywood-style dancer when I first started dancing. Yeah, me in an army suit and everything, just going, Pike! I'll have to find that video one day and I'll post it up. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, what do I want to say now? Um, yeah. Oh, and this year, Jonathan Stout was basically in charge of the music for the entire weekend. He started the first night with the Campus Five and mm -hmm. went on to the next night, um, the debut of his Rhythm Busters, which is basically plays early 1930s big band music prior to the swing era. And then Saturday night, of course, his orchestra played and kicked ass all over the place. On Sunday night, Bone Break Syncopators. <laughs> That was my xylophone, if you didn't know. And from uh, Black Coffee music video fame, and uh, also from Seattle. The Careless Lovers were there. Freddie Dickinson and Michael Baldessac played, and uh, Jonathan Stout just played on drums for them. And it was great. There was even live music for every final. Jack and Jill's and Strictly's and whatnot. I think that's something very special of it because you can't have good dancing unless you have really good music. It kind of goes together hand in hand. I like how I have my hands. Look at my big hands. He likes to wear a medal around his neck it helps them with the ladies. And again, they had the Miss Camp Hollywood <laughs> pageant. This year it went to Adrian Weddart, uh, who's an old friend of mine. And you, and I do aerials with. Yes, look. But the biggest thing about the showcase was uh, Emily Wigger and Morgan Day did an amazing, fantabulous performance of uh, Super Mario Brothers. And they made it swing and they found a song that basically uh, took the original uh, theme song from the Nintendo uh, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, and um, swung it up, you know? They used classic sounds from the video game uh, and <laughs> did some amazing uh, aerials and um, little tricks in there. It was really great. I'll post the link on here. You guys can check it out. There was one one other part that was quite amazing which took place during the Strictly I was in but really nobody was watching anybody else but Steven Sayer and Chandre Rotig sorry anyways they killed it basically we all went out there and, and did our best to get second they seriously just went boom Ariel boom awesome dancing boom Ariel Ariel awesome dancing or er. Congratulations to Steven and Sean Dre for winning first place. I mean it when I say the rest of us were just fighting for second. So on a personal note, uh, this year's Camp Hollywood was special for me since uh, for the first time I got to teach and win a contest there. I have never won a contest at Camp Hollywood before. Me and Nikki finally won the showcase division this year with our Georgia swing shift routine. And we got awesome jackets. Nikki's got them both. They're blue. Well, Camp Hollywood for me has been that local uh, uh, hometown event that I will always promote and I will always tell people to go. So yeah, that has some uh, personal things for me. And uh, I just want to thank everybody uh, with um, Camp Hollywood uh, that's who's involved. Hillary, of, of course, James, and the, and the whole cast of volunteers that help Hillary put this stuff together. Itchy, itchy beard. Camp Hollywood uh, number 15 will be taking place July 26th to the 29th of 2012. Of course, there will be the same old classes, dances, and contests, and of course, the amazing live music. There was something on my finger. I don't know what that is. It's, you probably can't see that. News. I will see you next year, Camp Hollywood 2012. See you guys later. Peace out. Um, yeah. So, um, Camp Hollywood. Camp Hollywood, Camp Hollywood, Camp Hollywood. Camp Hollywood, Camp Hollywood, Camp Hollywood. Camp Hollywood. Camp Hollywood.